Lavanya Balal, uh, you know, maybe not a day to take credit, maybe the day also to celebrate. Uh, good evening, Preeti. Actually, uh, it started off with uh, quite a bit of excitement yesterday. All of us were excited. I mean, it was quite exciting for women from across the board. It would have been a great day. And, you know, it is a little disappointing because this is a government which has come with a brute majority. And uh, passing a bill like this would have been a cakewalk. I mean, we have seen that they have uh, bulldozed even problematic legislation in the parliament. So it wouldn't have been difficult for the central government to, to pass this uh, particular bill, but to put, you know, caveats and mm -hmm. to um, say, you know, we will be uh, bringing this up only after uh, the census, the Kadal census, which, of course, if you look at the G20 countries, we were the only country which hasn't done the census. Uh, it's a little disappointing. I wish... You know, all our seniors have worked tirelessly for decades to make this come true. I wish this was passed without any caveats today. Well, I understand it hasn't been passed yet. It, it's been tabled. Uh, tomorrow's the discussion, and then we're going to see uh, whether it does pass. But somewhere down the line, you know, as uh, uh, I hate really ever pulling the woman card, but as women, we must look back and uh, look at all of them who fought the good fight, and that cuts across party lines. Yes. Be it the likes of yes. your very own uh, uh, Lavanya Balal, Margaret Alva, 1987, yes. or the you know Renuka Choudhury, or on the other uh, side, Sushma uh, you know Sushma Swaraj, you have uh, uh, Brinda yes, Karat, you have a Gita Mukherjee. Yes. They've all stood shoulder to shoulder uh, to bring uh, together yes. what it is. Charu Pragya, uh, you know, yes. It's a moment uh, in time which will be recorded in history uh, that it was under the governance of uh, Prime Minister Modi. But do we fall short if we don't give credit to those who started it earlier? Uh, Priti, I'm glad you uh, said uh, that, you know, we should give credit to all the good women who fought this fight. And I think there are some causes which can unite people across party lines when it comes to empowering women and making sure that they have a place at the decision-making table. I think that's one cause which is worthy of uniting women across party lines. And uh, not being political here, I do want to mention that there are so many colleagues of mine in other political parties, and we'll, ha we'll have a lot of differences of opinions about everything. We'll debate ferociously. But when it comes to this one agenda, that women need a place at this table, women should have representation at the parliament, I have seen them unite. And it warms my heart uh, to see this bill being tabled today. It makes me very happy because I think finally we're at a point where uh, we can put aside party differences and we can say the government has tabled a bill which is meaningful to not just women. It's meaningful to men too. Because when women are at the decision-making table, the lives of the True. whole country, men, country people, People are going to be impacted and women empowerment cannot happen without the support of men. At this point of time, the man I want to thank is Prime Minister Modi ji. He's tabled the bill. I know the opposition says that they are in support of the bill, but after that, they do add a very big but. 